Well, staying at schools now, getting a better idea of what the new temporary universal masking requirement is going to look like at Hamilton Public Schools. As our Vienna reports, while the policy stops short of being an outright mandate, students will still have to inform the school if they plan to attend classes without a mask. The Hamilton Wentworth District School Board sent a letter to parents yesterday giving more information on the temporary masking requirement that will go into effect on Monday. The letter says students will be allowed to opt out of the initiative, but they will need permission. Parents and guardians will need to submit a mask opt-out form that they can find on the board's website or on paper in any school. They also have the option of letting the school know verbally. Some parents I spoke to today say they're going to follow the policy. It's an easy thing for them to do and they don't seem bothered by it. Well, we're just used to it right now and if it's going to help stop the spread, then that's fine with me. At the same time, some are against the policy. Today, Westdale Secondary School, Coots Paradise Elementary and Dalewood Elementary were tagged with anti-mask graffiti that was quickly removed. Sean McKillop, the manager of communications at the board, confirmed the vandalism while adding that police have been made aware. McKillop released a statement saying, the contents of the graffiti express concerns over a response to protective health measures. Our priority is to reduce the spread of respiratory illness through a temporary universal masking requirement to ensure that our schools are in the safest conditions. Hamilton's medical officer of health, Dr. Elizabeth Richardson, says children are particularly affected by respiratory illnesses right now, and hospitals are suffering because of it. Um, with COVID, they don't seem to get as sick, but with flu and RSV, they do. And so that is why we're, they're ending up in our emergency departments, in our pediatric hospitals, and they are pressured. Our colleagues there, they have wards that are, you know, have many more kids on them than they were designed to have. They have more kids in the ICU, unfortunately. Richardson recommends that parents send their children to school with a mask. Have your kids wear that mask when they're off to school and with, uh, you know, other small kids with a, lot, a larger group of people um, and, and let that be the time when they are masked. Choose another time where they can do other activities and be unmasked because certainly appreciate they don't want that all of the time. The mask policy will be in place for two weeks starting on Monday. It will then be revisited by the board in January to decide next steps.